So I wanted to share with you this turmeric, this native turmeric of uh, India. It's actually, turmeric is a native plant uh, cultivar of India. Um, and I have a colleague of mine that was nice enough to bring me some uh, backyard grown, homegrown Indian uh, turmeric. And it is absolutely amazing. It is far more pungent and um, strength of smell than anything that you could buy in the grocery store. You could look down in there. So this is actually like garden homegrown turmeric. Uh, what they do is they'll grow it in the back. She said like quote they grow like weeds but it's actually cultivated. Um, so they grow it, they harvest the rhizome, the root, they pull that out, they boil it, steam it for like 30 to 45 minutes and then what ha what they do is they dry it in hot ovens and take it to the mill and they uh, grind it into a powder. Now, what's interesting is I found out that sometimes you got to be careful when you're buying from spice stores because the uh, people that sell the spices will actually cut the spices with flour, which you're saying because imagine if you put some flour in there, potentially it would take on the color of the turmeric and um, then you'd have the white flour that is the same color and you're just paying for the weight, right? So, um, and I almost wanna say that maybe that could be true because if I, I can only get my nose to about this height outside of the jar without just being overwhelmed by it, by, by, the, uh, by the spice, by the pungence of the spice, by the freshness of the spice, um, it's definitely not, uh, this spaghetti sauce for sure. Um, I, uh, I I would really recommend if you can to get get your spices from whole plant foods if possible. This is absolutely amazing. I've cooked with it. It has a, uh, a very distinct taste, um, and there this is a supposedly a lot of health benefits that are being studied right now. Uh, FDA hasn't really approved anything. There's a lot of um, talk in folk medicine about that. But the other thing is it's just a really good spice for your, uh, for your curries or any other, um, you know, South Asian type food. Really, really, really good. Bangladesh cuisine, Pakistan cuisine. Um, it's, it's a great coloring uh, agent. You know, it's a natural coloring agent. So turmeric, really good. Which active ingredient in here would be curcumin. I know some people um, take uh, curcumin to reduce inflammation, but there's no um, proof that that works. Although you know I'm uh, open, I'm definitely open to that. And at one time I was taking curcumin to try and decrease my inflammation. So the uh, this person's suggestions: you're cooking with uh, turmeric, you want to do like a half a teaspoon in a curry. Um, if you do, if you do like a tablespoon of this stuff, it's gonna overwhelm the flavor and uh, the flavor is is not necessarily one that, that you want to be predominant in your food. Um, so, bottom line is go out and try to get your spices from the source if possible. Try to sp source them out and I know there are uh, very reputable spice stores that um, sell spices like this and you can actually watch them grind. They'll probably mill the spice for you from whole plant foods. Um, I know I've been to one uh, in San Luis Obispo for sure. All right, curcumin.